Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Joel Mickelson, who's the sales manager for NetSuite at Fusion 5. Joel joins us today to discuss the topic of NetSuite ERP and how Fusion 5 helps customers achieve success by utilizing the software. So thanks for joining us today, Joel, and welcome to the jam. Yeah, no worries at all. Thanks for that. I really appreciate being here. No worries. Um, so just to start off, um, can you tell us a little bit about um, yourself and your role at Fusion 5? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm the national sales manager for the NetSuite pillar within Fusion 5. Um, so we manage pre predominantly the NetSuite sales engagements, the pre-sales engagements and the account management team uh, across Australia for NetSuite. Um, so Fusion 5 itself is part of, so, so NetSuite pillar in Fusion 5 is part of a larger company where we have lots of pillars dealing in, in things like planning, budgeting and forecasting, ERP, CRM, uh, data and analytics, um, WMS, uh, managed support, ITSM, security, endpoint security, all that sort of stuff. So we've got about 600 staff uh, across Australia and New Zealand, um, and they're pretty evenly distributed between Australia and New Zealand. So we have NetSuite capability in both Australia and New Zealand as well. Fantastic. And um, we're here to talk about ERP and NetSuite ERP. Yeah. Um, just to start off, what do you wish people would know about um, ERP and what are some of the kind of... Yeah. Trends and things. Absolutely. Well, firstly, I'd probably say there's many misconceptions about what ERP is and what the scope of it has to cover. And I think traditionally, when people think about ERP, they're either thinking, what even is that? Or if they've had experience in previous roles implementing ERP before, they might think sleepless nights, heart, lung transplant, pain, agony, staff result, staff revolt, etc. So uh, I suppose it really starts with the very word ERP and its definition. And this can be the subject of many heated LinkedIn debates these days, but realistically in practical terms, the definition of the word is less important than what it actually means from a practical aspect for the business. And in many businesses, it means a system that manages multiple aspects of the business, such as financials, uh, balance sheet, AIP, procurement, inventory, in some cases, manufacturing, professional services, et cetera. So it doesn't have to mean that for every business though. So more and more at Fusion 5, we're seeing that clients are looking to implement a core financial system of record. So that's something with powerful ERP features, such as multi-entity or multi-currency or multi-country. Um, powerful dimensional accounting and perhaps a few other features, maybe inventory management or procurement or even B2B commerce. Um, however, they might still retain some of their existing best of breed platforms as well. Some of the some of the stuff that they've put in place to operate the functional side of the business. And then they want that to integrate back into the ERP. So I suppose it really depends on what the scope is for the individual company. And I, I suppose I just really wish that people knew that ERP doesn't have to be major surgery. It doesn't have to be that heart lung transplant, so to speak. They can actually start with a really small and bespoke implementation, doing it in bite-sized chunks, maybe start with financials and then add on additional functionality at a later stage. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, so that, yeah. Good to have those options there. Um, I agree. Yeah. And um, in terms of NetSuite, what do you think makes NetSuite a good choice for businesses? Well, probably a little bit biasly as the sales manager for NetSuite, you could probably talk about that for a long time. And as we know, Fusion 5 is more than just a one-trick pony. We do a lot more than just NetSuite, but obviously NetSuite is, this, is, is what we're here talking about today. Um, so I really could talk about that topic all day, but NetSuite at its core, it's a system that is built to run a business. So there's lots of ERP platforms out there. And many of them started their life as an accounting package or an inventory management platform or even a warehouse management platform. And over time, they've had additional functionality kind of bolted on like Frankenstein's monster, almost as an afterthought. So what you find with a lot of platforms out there is they might have some super deep functionality in areas such as inventory or financials or something like that. But then in the other areas that they're trying to manage for the rest of the business, they're really quite light or paper thin. Um, NetSuite's really different. It was designed and built from the ground up as a platform to run a business end to end. So it was built as a cloud application. And in fact, NetSuite was the world's first cloud company. So it's cloud first, it's cloud only. And this can sometimes be a slightly tricky thing to get your head around if you're not familiar with this type of technology. Like it's one of the very few true cloud applications that exist in the market. So many of the other platforms that exist out there, they started as server-centric hosted solutions, which resided on business premises. And over time, 
companies sought to move them to the cloud, so to speak. So in many cases, that just meant taking an on-premise hosted server and moving it to a data center. And in these cases, clients are still subject to the same drawbacks as traditional on-premise ERP systems. So they need to manage the infrastructure to manage customizations, to up upgrade and manage security patches and backups and all that sort of stuff. And that can be a hugely costly and disruptive process. Um, so as such, we find that many businesses on cloud ERP, there are actually many versions behind the current version of the software. As the cost to keep it current is just too prohibitive, in many cases, it can be a complete redeployment. And this has got some pretty serious security and usability implications for customers with new security patches and day one patches coming out all the time. If you're not on the latest version, you are opening yourself up to a considerable amount of risk. So NetSuite, on the other hand, it's a true cloud product. So there's a couple of, in fact, there's many advantages to this. So NetSuite is hosted on a multi-tenant data center, which is provided by Oracle. It's an autonomous, self-healing, self-provisioning, self-repairing data center. And being multi-tenant, as customers' utilization load fluctuates, Oracle's data centers can automatically add or remove server power to cope with that utilization, meaning that if you're a business that has an on-premise system and you need to spec up a server to deal with your maximum load, you're paying a lot more for infrastructure than, when, than if you have something that's multi-tenant. And as your utilization increases and increases, you can upgrade your data tier that you sit on as well. So it really does have that infinite level of scalability just to like a, a small two, three person company all the way through to a Fortune 500 company. So the other thing as well is that you don't need to back up, upgrade or have any involvement at all with the server infrastructure of NetSuite. So everything that's included in your annual subscription, so the biannual upgrades that NetSuite release, meaning that every six months you end up with countless new features and improvements, you're always on the latest version. And that's really great from a technical standpoint, but not much good if the application doesn't meet your business requirements though. So it's great to speak about what it is from a technical perspective, but I really think the reason that NetSuite has been so successfully globally and has experienced quarter on quarter, year on year growth is because it is extremely easy to use. It's logical. It's capable of replacing a lot of the disparate systems that companies use these days. And its functionality is very deep. So it is actually a highly utilizable and highly powerful system. It does fit into many verticals. Um, it's also highly extensible. So if you need minor or even major customizations, NetSuite sits on its own JavaScript based platform. And that gives you the ability to write automation scripts, new applications even, and gives you the, the ability to extend the functionality in almost any way that you see fit. And if you don't want to start from scratch, NetSuite has its own app store. So it really enables you to go ahead and download additional functionality, install it into your application, and then straight away you have a brand new feature that didn't exist in the, in the base system. And that app store is underpinned by Suite Cloud certified developers. So the applications are certified, they're tested by NetSuite, they're guaranteed to work, all that kind of stuff. So probably finally, and maybe most importantly, NetSuite is one of the fastest platforms to implement. And that's really probably comes down to the Suite Success program that was developed by NetSuite a number of years ago. And in a nutshell, um, Suite Success is basically a highly configured and verticalized version of NetSuite. And it's designed to to, to suit specific industries. So for example, Suite Success for wholesale distribution, it's a version that comes with all of the modules generally required for these types of businesses, such as inventory management and financial management and CRM and demand planning and analytics and reporting, et cetera. But it also comes out of the box with thousands of hours of pre-configured user roles, dashboards, reports, KPIs, et cetera. So when you deploy the application into your business and you see all the dashboards and all the and 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 all the KPIs and roles and things like that. It's the same as what you were demonstrated. So you don't just end up with this completely blank slate and you have to start from the beginning. So that really improves and incre and or decreases implementation time. And from an implementation perspective, it's built around leading practices, and those leading practices are gleaned from thousands of global deployments in similar industries as well. So we often find that companies will align their business processes. Uh, to, net, to the way that NetSuite operates. So record to report, design to build, lead to cash, all those standard business flows. Um, companies will tend to find to, to mold their business around how NetSuite operates. Um, and that does a few things. Um, 
from an industry knowledge perspective, when people have come from other companies that are also using leading practices, when they're hiring people, it's very easy to onboard them. Uh, there's lots of training and, 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 and support available for the standard processes. So it's very easy to give people training to do to get them up to speed. And it generally means that new, new employees are, are, are far more effective, far faster as well. So there's a whole bunch of different reasons why that would be. Um, in most cases, we can get our clients live within the first 100 days of their first phase, meaning that the time to value out of their investment is really, really quite fast. And being a cloud-based system, it's also very straightforward to integrate it to other platforms that exist within your business well. So all in all, I strongly believe that NetSuite should be a consideration for any business that's looking to implement an ERP. If you're not at least looking at it, you're probably doing yourself a disservice. For sure. And uh, we talked a little bit about the successes <laughs> and benefits of it. Um, have you seen any fantastic wins um, after for, from companies after implementing next week with you guys at Fusion 5? Yeah, I think you can like you can talk about technology and capability all the time, but it's really about the results you get from the system at the end of the day. Isn't it? And I think that is really the important part of all this. It's understanding how an ERP implementation is actually going to benefit and impact your business. So you don't just do this because you woke up one morning and decided to drop a few hundred grand on on putting a new system in, like like you have you have a significant business issue in most cases, or you have significant growth, and you need something to be able to deal with that. But you also need the right partner. You need somebody who understands your business. You need somebody who understands how to implement the business. And Fusion Five have been a net suite partner for over nine years, and of those nine years, we're really grateful to have received Oracle's recognition as Net Suite's ANZ and also the JPAC Partner of the Year for the past six of those years as well. So it really is a huge part of our business. We have the largest and the most experienced team of consultants, technical developers, and solution architects in the ANZ region. And we've done over 200 NetSuite implementations. Um, so we really are probably the most experienced in the region. And I think that experience is starting to find its way into the market as we find that there's lots of people um, even even that haven't been implemented by us or have had NetSuite that are, that, are, that are now coming to Fusion 5 to partner with them to support their industry moving forward. So we've had some really great stories with that. But I think really some of the ones that really come to mind, it's, it's hard to choose because we've just got so many stories of NetSuite really enabling businesses. But one company comes to mind, a company called Tro Pacific. Um, they're relatively recently implemented. Um, they came to us in a period of pretty significant growth. And they were looking to consolidate a lot of the various best of breed systems they had, and quite a lot, quite a lot of them. Um, and they were look at, and they were looking to unify financials and procurement and sales and customer management, customer service, and also e-commerce into a single platform. So after implementing NetSuite with Fusion Five, our team got them up and running in a pretty short time frame. And then as a second phase, we helped them launch their e-commerce store, which handles both their B2B and B2C purchase inquiries from an online perspective, which is, and the sweet commerce part is actually a core part of the NetSuite platform. So what this enabled them to do is significantly reduce manual workload from all their disparate systems. So they had a lot of administrative overhead and sales overhead and order overhead and item overhead and pricing and descriptions and all sort of overhead. So they just had one spot to put that all now. And it kept their e-commerce catalog automatically synced with their pricing tables in the ERP. So the e-commerce will just utilize whatever information's in NetSuite system. So all their B, B2B trade prices, all their volume discounts, all the special prices, et cetera, uh, they all automatically sync to the website. That's something that's really hard to do with third-party software and applications. So what they really saw was absolutely monumental growth through COVID. They've now expanded into New Zealand where we helped them launch their second NZ web store. Uh, they also, they've also moved to the UK now and that project is underway right now, but they're launching another sweet, sweet commerce store over there as well. So NetSuite really enabled them to operate in all of those regions on a single platform, operating all of those required base currencies, automatically consolidating reporting, streamlining the procurement and the sales process, it meant that they could significantly ramp up their business without continually adding new employees to deal with it. So one of the things that NetSuite really gives you the ability to do is do more with less. So you can do more, you can do more business, you can, you can expand more, and you can do that with less people. So... Um, it really has been an absolutely huge catalyst in helping them automate their business um, so they don't have to slow down or miss a beat in the journey. And I suppose 
that was a really, really good one that's, that sort of came to mind. Another one I thought of was Crystal Aquatic System. Um, they came to us at the beginning of the pandemic. They were looking to replace their aging on-premise system. Uh, it had some pretty significant issues trading in multi-currencies. It was difficult to get accurate stock reportings and inventory valuations out of. We did a very fast implementation for them. Um, they really had to move quickly before the beginning of their peak pool season. Um, and Crystal rolled their manufacturing, their sales, their operation, procurement, inventory, CRM and financials into NetSuite. They were using QuickBooks and a bunch of other custom systems previously. And it just so happened that the demand for their products surged during the pandemic and they found themselves operating today where they thought they'd be in about three years. So their business ex experienced absolutely tremendous growth. And they, they stay with confidence and they've told me this so many times, they just could not have handled it without having NetSuite in place. Uh, it's been truly transformational for the operations. And again, I think the theme is that it enabled them to do more with less. Um, and I really think that's what a good ERP implementation does. It, it helps automate a lot of the manual processes and it gives your, your business the ability to expand and to scale without having the restrictions of all those disparate systems and administrative overheads and things like that. So I think that's really where NetSuite gets its big wins. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the the gist of it really, making sure that um, effectiveness and productivity are key. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, again, thanks so much, Joel, for joining us. That was really yeah, no cool and it was um, great to hear about all the great things that um, Fusion 5 is doing with NetSuite. Yeah, um, thank just you. to kind of finish off, um, how do people get in contact with you guys to inquire about these types of services? Yeah, great question. So Fusion 5 has a website, fusion5.co.nz and fusion5.com.au. Um, so just on the contact form on our website, you can, you, can, you can definitely reach out to us. You can contact us via LinkedIn. Uh, you can call any any one of our offices. Um, if you just look up, if you just Google Fusion 5, you get, get all of our office numbers. Um, we've got people across Australia and New Zealand um, in lots of different pillars around NetSuite and Microsoft and et cetera, ready to help anyone out that's that's interested in finding out a little bit more. Awesome. Well, that's great to hear. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from uh, Fusion 5 in the future. Awesome. Thank you very much.